Hey, uh, I'm Simon Tran. Uh, I'm from Long Beach originally, but now I live in beautiful, sleepy old San Mateo, California. And uh, I'm an artist. And uh, I go under the name Ghost Ghost Teeth. Uh, I deal with mostly with acrylics and ink. Uh, I like using like fountain pens and stuff. And I usually try to find canvases that are uh, that aren't really canvases. A uh, piece uh, of canvas that I found was this driftwood. I found this in uh, Ocean Beach. Uh, I, I used to drive up and down Ocean Beach every day. And uh, this one day I stopped and I found the wood and it was just like sitting there. And, it, and I just picked it up and I was just like, this is a major score. And like, it was, it's huge, it looks like a freaking door. So I decided to paint on it. And I found it, it was perfect for this show because this, uh, this, this gallery shelter is uh, mostly just like old beach bum kind of uh, mentality. There's a lot. There's there's the aspect of being lonely in my art. There's a lot of loneliness in my art. Although it's like I have that this duality of using really bright colors that invite you in and you just get really attracted by that. But I I, I feel like when I look at my art, I just get really bummed out sometimes because. Uh, behind all of that, that color is like this, this infinite uh, depression that's in there, and it's, it's trying to it's trying to hide itself in, within all these colors, but it's still there. And I, I, I like to do art with uh, with with the subject matter in the corners because I've always I've always, I've grown up playing in in corners and finding solace in corners, and also. Uh, I used to play in uh, <laughs> in closets a lot, like by myself with my transformers uh, and, and, and GoBots, the uh, the poor man's transformer. My parents were never really fond of me doing art or theater, which I initially was uh, studied in school. Uh, they were more in favor of me, like being a dentist, <laughs> you know, or. Or having a desk job, and so it's always been a clash, clashing of uh, uh, of cultures, I guess. Uh, I'm a first generation Vietnamese American, and uh, I just grew up not uh, really identifying with either uh, American culture or Vietnamese culture. Like my parents taught me uh, English first. And then they tried to teach me Vietnamese later, but uh, I was a little, I was resistant to it because I, it was just so hard because I was trying to learn English here. So there's always been this communication barrier between my parents, and I, I always feel so guilty uh, because of that. And I, I've always wanted to go to Vietnam, but I, I feel like I should learn Vietnamese first. And but like, I'm also really lazy, so. <laughs> I haven't learned Vietnamese. Well, I guess like the, I, I have this idea for my next show about doing uh, the, uh, whole, the whole thing would be about boat people, Vietnamese boat people, and uh, it's uh, my uh, my family were all uh, all immigrated here uh, during the war and before the war. war uh, my dad served. Uh, in the army, he was uh, uh, in the U.S. Army. He, he flew the helicopters, and he would tell me all these crazy stories about like people that he's he's uh, he's uh, had to kill. But anyway, also uh, my uncles immigrated over here over uh, on uh, on a boat on boats, and one of them actually was lost at sea. Yeah. So, uh, and the, the two, uh, the one uncle that did come over here, uh, he uh, passed away recently. So, I think I, I really want to delve in, uh, dive into, uh, into that part of my life and really find some meaning in that. Because uh, my parents are always telling me that uh, I'm like, uh, I should be really grateful for what I have. And, uh, and, uh, Sometimes I, I think I take all, a lot of this stuff for granted that I get to just just sit around and paint and just hang out and drink beer, and that's kind of like my life. And I'm able to get by, and I, I take me little by little. But now I understand that 
my parents went through a lot of stuff so I, just so I could dick around, basically. So it make, I have this tremendous amount of guilt over, over my shoulders. So I think I should, I should alleviate that guilt somehow. And I think, I think the only way I know how is through my art. I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but I mean, that's, that's what I got to work with. Because, uh, like I said, I ain't good at math. <laughs> what do you think about him being an artist? Surprise! <laughs> Why, he, he wasn't Bigger good. Way, no, not good, but when he was young, <laughs> he not interesting on of the drawing at all. Oh, he just suddenly he just drew all those amazing pictures. So it kind of surprised us, you know. Well, when he was little, what did you think he was going to be? Ah, uh, drama, uh, actor. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's what you, I told you I wanted to be. You weren't supportive at all in high school. Don't give me that stuff. Don't, she wasn't supportive at all. When he, no, when he said that, I I not support because I, I know <laughs> that go. that career is not gonna lead him anywhere. You know, it's not for make any uh, for living. You know, so that's why I don't want to support him for that. You know, but I know that in him, he, he wants to be an actor.